Hello there and welcome to the new tablet tutorial where I will show you one quick interesting way to show your filters. So generally if you have seen you do a filters like this in any dashboard where you know you provide the information to the user about what they can filter. But another interesting way which probably either you have figured it out but if not another interesting way is to show the visualization as a filter. Now showing the visualization as a filter helps achieving two different purposes. One is that we want to show the information about the different categories. For example, for each of these regions, we are showing the count of customer, the sales, the quantity and sales per customer. But in this, not only we are showing the information, but if I click on this, it only fil it also inf filters the information about what we are showing as a visualization over here. So this basically then do a dual purpose about uh, what we basically want to achieve from this visualization. So not only showing the information what you know it should show, it also filters the information. Now uh, you have couple of ways by which you can do this. One of the very quick way is uh, using this option which is sort of a filter like an option. You can enable this since I have enabled this it is showing me don't use it as a filter so if I just click on that it will not use it as a filter but if I enable this it will use this as a filter which will update the rest of the visualization now that's number one thing number two thing is uh, uh, this is like by selecting it but over here you have the visualization where you know a different customers information is given by the sales and the profit now if you want to look at each or a single customer over here and want to see its ranking so what you can do is just highlight over here and it says Darren Martin over here and what's its ranking over here so similarly over here Raymond Bunch which is the first customer if you go down here it's a Luke Foster so you see the not only this particular chart where you select the information by clicking it you can just hover over your mouse and you know make the chart interactive so how do you do that well for that you need to go into the dashboard and into the action and over here we have the highlight action so if we just select on this and click edit so what it says is basically you have two charts customer rank which is this and customer scatter which is this and then based on that you update the customer rank and customer scatter chart and it's very straightforward as you can see you want two sheets to be uh, to be interacted with each other you have selected both from the source sheet and the target sheet and based on this like how you want to run the action hover select or menu you can basically select it so for example if I if we do hover and click OK and OK it will start selecting the information so this way you can generate the action and over here the selection is happening from the actions again if you see filter 2 and if we go into the edit so the customer overview is what is selected as a show source sheet so this is the source sheet and uh, target is basically all the three sheets so if we want that uh, we don't want customer overview to be impacted by this we just uncheck that and we want to make sure that users should select this so we'll click OK and OK so now if we select this you see this information is updated over here but nothing no impact that it has it is doing on the chart so similarly if I select over here this basically gets impacted so like I mentioned you have two options either you can go it over here but if you want further drill down and want to refine it further then you can go into the dashboard action and add a new action based on you want filter highlight and couple of other options that I will collect uh, select in the future so that's about how you can uh, utilize the visual filters and the filter actions within the tablet dashboard.